always uh, very firmly committed to ending all forms of violence against children. To this, to this end, uh, you've already heard quite a bit from the Honorable Minister for Women Affairs. In 2003, we enacted the Child Rights Act and subsequently developed a national strategic plan to end child marriage in Nigeria. That plan is the one covering the years 2016 to 2021. And also adopted a national priority agenda for vulnerable children, 2013 to 2020. And in 2015, we enunciated the declaration of a year of action to end violence against children establishing a technical working group on ending violence against children. And in February 2017, Nigeria became, as you've also heard, a pathfinder country within the global partnership to end violence against children, when it made a formal commitment. And since then, Nigeria has worked diligently to protect all children. We welcome the 2020 Global Status Report on Preventing Violence Against Children. It's important to highlight that Nigeria ranked above average in promoting norms and values and response and support services to survivors, and ranked high in the education and life skills strategy category. However, we acknowledge the need to improve on the implementation and enforcement of laws, promotion of a safe environment, and strengthening parental and caregiver support. The Speaker of the National Children's Parliament, Honorable Menasser Abbas, uh, uh, has already presented to me the commitments that the Nigerian government uh, makes today uh, on ending violence against children, and I'll proceed to read those commitments. It is titled the Restatement of Commitment to Ending Violence Against Children in Nigeria. Recalling our commitment to protect children from abuse, exploitation, trafficking, and violence under Goal 16.2 of the Sustainable Development Goals, we remain fully committed to collective action at all levels, to end all forms of violence against children. We therefore seize the opportunity presented by this national policy dialogue to restate our to continued remove. commitments remove. as follows. One, the federal government will continue to support and encourage states yet to adopt the Child Rights Act of 2003 as law to do so. States that have the child rights law will continue to be supported to ensure that the laws are enforced and perpetrators are held to account. Two, the government through the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning will continue to apply its best efforts to provide adequate funding in a bid to strengthen child protection and social protection systems. Three, the government will deepen its efforts towards achieving universal birth registration in order to improve the lives of our country's most vulnerable children who remain without legal identity. We will continue to work with relevant agencies to develop and implement a digital universal birth registration system. Four, the government remains committed to implementing the recommendations of its recent convening on financing safe schools in Nigeria and ensuring that no child will be subjected to physical, mental or emotional injury, abuse, neglect or maltreatment, or subjected to torture, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. Five. Recognizing the need to keep children safe in the digital classrooms and the need to ensure that every child is free from sexual exploitation and abuse, the government is committed to enacting appropriate laws and policies relating to cybersecurity safety and data protection with a view to putting in place a robust child online protection system with the collaboration of regulatory agencies, law enforcement agencies,
development partners, telecommunications companies, and internet service providers. The Child Online Protection System will complement the already established Child Protection Information Management System that is coordinated by the National Human Rights Commission. Six, we'll continue to invest in support services that protect children affected by violence. Not only will children be able to report incidents of violence, but when they report, the services will be available to them as such. And we will encourage more states to establish sexual assault referral centers to ensure that survivors receive an integrated care pathway. There are currently 31 sexual assault referral centers in 17 states and federal capital territory that provide free medical counseling and support services to survivors of sexual